foolishly I care about the people and their liberty Set fire to the water, we don't need any more Poison all the medicines, we don't deserve a cure It's all about the dollar and the monetary gains So forget you and the treaties from the oceans to the plains, huh? You have a really unique style of music. I call it res poetry. It's a mix of hip hop, country, rhythm and blues, spoken word, and a little bit of traditional elements. So like, it is like a lot of things you've heard before, just not by one person. And uh, yeah, so it all came naturally. It felt right to, to mix the hip hop with the country. It didn't feel like a stretch. It just feels like something that's a part of my being. Whose purpose was to make me less Somehow I see they found success So naturally I challenge it It's not about destruction It's about finding ways to balance it What inspired you to create such a cool, interesting sound? I grew up on the res, so like I grew up listening to country music uh, I grew up listening to, you know all the oldies, the classics, Johnny Cash, Willie Nelson. So I, I really love all that music, Dwight Yoakam, uh, stuff like that. And then like when I was uh, younger, my mom used to listen to oldies, like R&B from Motown and soul music. And uh, then when I was kind of in my teenage years, going through the rebellious years, my brother uh, used to listen to a lot of hip hop and I'd sometimes would steal one of his tapes. So the, the hip hop is something that became a part of my existence uh, through uh, just writing, you know, ex writing as an exercise, writing as a therapy, and then like it just was something that I was drawn to. So playing guitar was something that I had to teach myself how to do. Watching YouTube videos and reading magazines and reading books and sitting there for hours strumming around trying to figure stuff out. Uh, I don't come from a musical family, so I had to teach, teach myself a lot of these things that I do. Swing low, sweet. Carry me home, swing low. And somebody asked me, uh, he said, you know what, man? Uh, that song, I really like that song, but it really sounds like you're appropriating Southern gospel music because you included that swing low, sweet chariot. And so I said, I, you know what? I don't just put every, I don't just put words to songs. The songs come to me, and that song I was writing, and I kept hearing Swing Low Sweet Chariot coming into my head. It kept entering my head over and over and over and over. So I decided, you know what, it fits this song, but I'm only going to put it in there if it makes sense. So the man who wrote that song was a man named Wallace Willis, and he was, uh, he was a slave that belonged to the Choctaw Nation. And I use the word belong in quotations because I don't think anybody can belong to anybody. But he, when he became a freedman, he became a member of the Choctaw Nation. He didn't become an American, he became a member of the Choctaw Nation. So you actually were able to uh, come and visit the FNX station. How do you feel about growing this native media community? Um, I think indigenous people have been storytellers since time immemorial. It's like a lot of times, People had to deal with winter, had to get good at telling stories, you know, because they weren't going out in the cold a lot of the time. So I think it's important that we, we start going out and telling our own stories. We're more than capable. It's a super important for us to be in control of our stories and how we tell them, because uh, we've had a lot of people for a long time trying to tell our story for us, and it's just not the same as us being able to, to do it ourselves, you know? So I encourage young people to learn about uh, storytelling and, and, you know, just understand that it doesn't have to be a linear fashion, like, uh, script that uh, Hollywood uh, wants you to write. You can you could you could tell, find a way to tell your own story creatively. I have all the faith in you and uh, get good at what you do. Love what you do. Practice lots and you know get better. And you know like strive for excellence. You know like don't don't accept uh, being mediocre at what you love to do. And that's that goes to whether you're making media or whether you want to be a doctor or whatever whatever it may be. Strive for excellence because you're capable of it. Now that you have a, a, a national platform, is there anything else you'd like to say? Uh, learn your languages. Uh, speak your languages as much as you can. Don't be ashamed of your languages. I know we've been taught 
to be ashamed of our languages, to be ashamed of these things, but these are something that you have to take uh, initiative to learn because, you know, we can't just sit around and be mad that they attempted to take these things from us. We have to take ownership of what we have left and apply it in our lives daily. So learn your languages and for the, for the young people, keep pressuring your, the older people that know how to speak it keep pressuring them for them to teach you and for the older people don't be ashamed to teach that tongue to those young ones because that's a part of our identity and if we lose that we lose a piece of ourselves forever so learn your language me and i have to say